Right, Matt, our fourth fight on the prelims. Listen, this was one where we were supposed to have the Brown Bear, Devin Clark, taking on Ged Shimurad and Tigilov. Instead, the fight falls apart. And you would think when a fighter fought about two and a half weeks ago from the time that we're taping this that, hey, maybe that fighter knocked out his opponent in impressive fashion. Maybe it was a great fight that, you know, he wants to build on very quickly, move up through the division. Oh, wait, he didn't even fight in this division. He fought a division down. And did he win that fight? No, he lost that fight uh, resoundingly. Daquan Townsend is moving back up to 205 pounds to take on the Brown Bear, Devin Clark, and Matt. Let's set the stage for Devin Clark. This is a guy that was at one point a combined 11-0 as a pro and amateur. He was the RFA light heavyweight champ. He comes into the UFC and he's been 3-4. and four. He's been so-so. But the losses are to tough competition. Yeah, you can say maybe the Alex Nicholson loss in his debut wasn't great. But after that, Jan Blachowicz, Alexander Rakic, and Ryan Spann. Those are pretty good guys. And then for Daquan Townsend, 0-2 in the UFC. I get it. Like, he's had a lot of fights. He's finished a lot of his opponents. You guys out there in the YouTube comments absolutely torched us for saying that we were crazy for picking Bavon Lewis to win that fight. But, hey, sometimes we make good picks. Sometimes we make some bad ones. And listen, Daquan Townsend, yes, there's a lot of things he can do quite well. He has a reach advantage here. He has a height advantage here. Uh, but in his debut against Dolce Lujambula, he lost bad. And against Bavon Lewis going back down to 185, he didn't look good. And his corner was yelling at him to pick it up in the third round, and he did not oblige. If you're Daquan Townsend, a primary striker, taking on Devin Clark, who he can strike and he can kick damn hard with those thick thighs. But th th this is a guy whose bread and butter can be his wrestling. What do you do here? Who who's going to win this fight? But what do you do here in short notice? Like uh, so Daquan's about to do something that I'm sure zero out of ten doctors would recommend, and that's take two MMA fights. Time out. He's 0-2, and he's doing this on short notice. Oh, I was going to say it's not the first thing Daquan's done that zero out of ten doctors would recommend. Like you said, Devin Clark in this fight, he's kind of better at everything, and the fact that, you know they always talk about, like, oh, he's the fresher fighter? Daquan's definitely the fresher fighter because he did fight so recently, but he's not like a Michael Bisping. He's not a guy who traditionally throughout their career, like a Cowboy Cerrone, perhaps. Don't take the Kelvin Gaslam. Uh, That's kind of what I'm getting that. towards. Like, if you have a hard loss, don't come back within a month to try to do this all over again. And like you said, up a weight class, against a guy who's I can guarantee you Devin Clark hits harder than anyone Townsend's ever fought before and it's just kind of the perfect recipe Dolce for Devin. Bulla hits pretty he hard. does but he gasses so quickly that we don't really know kind of where his power gauge is just yet and with Devin Clark he can keep that power going throughout every single round he's got really good light kicks I like the fact you brought up that man walk, walks around on tree trunks he has like Mark Hunt legs for the size of him and he's probably going to be very kick heavy in this fight leg kicks body kicks and with a guy already doesn't have very good cardio if you keep on going to the body on him that power bar is going to drain a lot quicker so this is kind of the perfect storm for a Devin Clark stoppage victory. Devin Clark, minus 285 favorite. You've got Townsend coming in on short notice, like I said, plus 235. And stranger things have happened, but at a 416 votes on topology, 87% going with Clark, 82% by decision. I see it that way. I see it a Devin Clark decision. It's a good win and, and a stepping stone to keep going up against better competition. Hopefully they don't give him a uh, 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 you know, a Rakic or a Ryan Span, but it's a it's a stepping stone. Yeah, you have to build people up at some point, and to just keep on fighting, just murder after murder after murder. Like you're not going to gain that much progress. Uh, it's like if you play basketball against a guy who's so much better than you, you don't really get that much better because you're just getting beat so badly. But this is the perfect fight for Devin Clark, and hopefully, not even hopefully, I do think he's going to get the win. I think it'll be by stoppage after uh, Daquan slows down. Great you're not going to want to miss the rest of our predictions for UFC Rio Rancho here for Fighting Picks on YouTube, Matt. Let's get into it. 